Elder W. Woodruff said we, as a people, were fulfilling our destiny and carrying out those principles and prophecies that the ancient prophets foresaw. We had, therefore, a great responsibility resting upon us to erect temples, wherein we might redeem the living and the dead. He gave some good instructions to the presidents of stakes, bishops, and other officials, and urged upon them the necessity of each one of them using all his influence to sustain every cooperative institution as a preparatory step towards the establishment of a united order, which would have to be entered into by us as a people. We would have to be united in all our temporal labors to promote the principle of union for the benefit of the whole people. We were here to build up Zion, to establish righteousness, and prepare ourselves and our children for the coming of the Son of Man in the clouds of heaven. The gospel which we had received was everlasting in its nature. There was no change. It was always the same in every dispensation. Faith, repentance, and baptism were eternal principles. He said that we should remember that everything that leads to good is of God, and whatever leads to evil is from the evil one. He closed his instructive remarks by praying for the blessing of God upon the saints, that they might be enabled to carry out the counsel that had been given them.